Here is another video in our series about the two-story house with the open floor plan. And in this section, we are going to be going over the roof framing, ceiling joist, roof framing, and the sheathing. So we already went over the second floor framing, lower floor framing. Let's put our ceiling joist in there. Remember, I cannot provide you with lumber sizes not an engineer. Um, I could give you an idea of what works, but uh, um, that's something I'm not interested in doing either because you could uh, live in an area that would uh, require totally different requirements. For example, a two by 10 rafter might work fine here. Um, uh, the ceiling joist probably gonna be the same for something like this. I think I have about a two by eight and uh, I forget what the span is here, maybe 15 feet, something like that. I think a two by eight works for up to 16 feet for a ceiling. Uh, but the roof rafters, two by 10, two by 12, you might be better off just getting a truss roof for something like this. Uh, but this one here is something you could probably build by yourself, a truss roof system. You'd have a difficult time getting the lumber up here without a crane. And of course we have blocking here and the blocking is off to one side. You could center it, um, but sometimes you're going to have plumbing pipes or you're going to have electrical wires. I've learned that if you just move it off to one side, you the electrician and uh, sometimes the plumber can get their stuff up there a little easier. And everything looks nice there going to build a wall. Now in this one here, we have a wall that's sitting on top of, a lower wall and this runs through the center here to support the wall and the rafters so it's kind of one of the um, neat things about this particular design is uh, this wall i know a lot of people a long time ago this was a popular way to build stuff uh, the house i live in actually has a wall like this and then a beam in the garage and a beam in the uh, living room and um, uh, when I say that, uh, it only has a wall going into the uh, kitchen and the um, other bedrooms kind of a thing. A small house, but it has a wall that is supporting the rafters or a beam with some posts. And uh, of course, the house has to be designed to where um, it will actually work with something like this. And that's, of course, what I did here. So the rafters here with blocks. The rafters lap, and of course they lap to the ceiling joist. Everything works out. All the laps make everything work out accordingly. View of it there. The top of the blocks are shaped. And I have seen plenty of homes built without shaping the blocks on the top, but it really does uh, work out a lot better for nailing the plywood sheathing. So in this one here also, I went ahead and built a different rake wall here or end gable wall. And you can see here we have a little rafter tail at the bottom to help everything out here. And again, just kind of trying to throw out a few different design ideas or ways to build things. Um, something like this might need to be strapped. Um, however, you put your piece of plywood on here and nail it um, that might be sufficient to create a nice tie there but i'm sure an engineer would want a 40 foot strap in there strap the whole building all the way across with uh, solid metal okay probably shouldn't be bad mouthing engineers there but uh, back to the video um the ceiling joist another view of the wall there now let's take the roof apart so you can get an idea of how these walls would connect here. Put the rafters back together and add the fascia board. Fascia board with the brakes and the lookouts. And of course a view of how this uh, is connected here and the 2x4 lookouts that are going to be supporting the fascia board. Take a look at the ridge block. Again, this is shaped. View from the bottom. 
And of course we have a block in here to give some backing for uh, the siding or the stucco, whatever you're going to install on that. Another view of the small rafter here and the framing plates. And of course the break in the fascia board, uh, usually a 45 degree angle. This can be even a 15 degree angle if you want. I've seen people do it a variety of different ways. Put our roof sheathing on. Of course all of our roof sheathing will break and be uh, staggered. We'll break on top of the roof rafters half on and be staggered. And let's go ahead and pull a sheet of plywood out so you can take a look at it. Break half on the rafter and then this one here of course will break half on this rafter. And of course I have a small piece here. This might not be allowed. You're going to have to check with your engineer. Some uh, engineers require a minimum size piece of sheathing in both directions. It might be 24 inches. And if that's the case, uh, I'm going to have to do some... Uh, you're going to be wasting some extra plywood, I should say there. So anyway, that is it for the video. I believe I will have one more, if not two more. I have not provided the plans for this particular building. I will do that in the next installment.